Congratulations on buying Venus UI kit. If you like it so far, but you want to customize it a bit, that's exactly what this video is for. This time I want to show you how you can change the colors, the backgrounds, fonts, hover animations and more. The video is going to be separated into a few sections. First we are going to see how you can do that using sections and module settings. Then we are going to be using master CSS file to do that. And in addition, we are going to be using developer tools in your browser to do that. And also we are going to cover some potential issues you might encounter while updating the page. So without any further ado, let's get started. Let me first say that what I have here is a new page that I created and I just loaded a random a few Venus modules. To update how this page looks like, let's first uh, do that using module settings and for that I'm going to enable Visual Builder by clicking this button here. Give it a moment to load on a page and there we go. Beautiful thing about Visual Builder is that it enables you to customize the page to update it without ever leaving the page. All you have to do is to hover over an element and then click the settings icon. Let's start with a background image for example of the first section. So all I have to do is to click this section settings icon here. Now this little window pops up here and here we have all the options we need. We want to change the background so obviously we want to toggle the background option by clicking on it and here we want to click on the background image and replace it with anything else with any other image and as soon as you click on the upload button it is changed on the actual page so you automatically know how it is going to look like on the page you don't have to save and reload the page and uh, all that jazz now what if you for example want to change these uh, red blurbs here you want to hover over it, then go to module settings. You want to go to image and icon for example. You can uh, choose whether to use the icon or not. Uh, by default it's set to yes, you can change the icon. Then you can toggle background to add a background or you can go to design tab and change the actual background of the uh, icon. Let's for example choose blue. Let's leave the white uh, icon color and you can change also the icon size and more and that's pretty much it so it's really simple all you have to do is uh, once again to hover over the module go to module settings and change the relevant settings you're looking for. You can also change the text obviously uh, let's for example change this to new title and here we want to say uh, a new description text and again if you go to design obviously you want to toggle text options to change the text for example title text let's choose white let's enlarge it that's looking good and let's save but let me also go more into details what are other options here uh, when you go to settings you have three tabs content design and advanced in content obviously as we just seen you can change the content of the module uh, for example the title the text the icon in this example if you go to design tab there are all the design options for the content uh, of the module and in the advanced tab you can assign the module uh, a unique ID or the class name or uh, some custom CSS and as you can see this very module has some CSS uh, in advanced tab. Why? Well sometimes uh, the, the looks of the module can be achieved only using design options so we use some additional CSS to uh, make it look as we attended it, uh, as we designed it so make sure to also check advanced tab that's pretty much it also uh, there is a new DV feature it's called filter if you use this 
you can only select uh, to see, for example, only modified styles. This is going to remove all the options that are not used uh, in this module. So uh, this is very helpful if you uh, can't find something so you don't have to toggle literally all these options. All right, that's it for the module section and module settings. Now let's see uh, what's the master CSS file and how to use that. Let's now see how we use master CSS file. Let's, for example, update this box shadow on a hover. Perhaps you don't see that, so let me change the background to white. Uh, let's choose a solid white color. I'm going to remove the image and the gradient. And now, as you can see, when you hover over uh, these blurbs, you see this box shadow uh, animation. Uh, let's now save this and exit Visual Builder. So what we want to do is we want to go to settings and then Venus Assistant. Go to this page and click Open Master Change Your File button to open the master CSS. All the CSS will open in a new window. What you want to do is to copy this and paste it in your text editor. I use Notepad++ as my text editor. It's a really great one and I recommend it. You can get it for free. Now that we have pasted the CSS, we want to find the module we are trying to update. The module uh, that we are changing is called Tool Pop Blurb Module. So what you want to do is to open Find Box. You can do that by holding Control button and pressing F. And then type in the Tool Pop. And it's going to take you to the CSS of the module. So you can see that this document is really well commented. Uh, it gives you uh, the category of modules comment. So all the blurbs are under this comment, then the blurb uh, name and the state. So we are trying to change the hover state of the tool pop blurb module. So we know that this CSS here is for the hover. And what we want to do is to update this code here. Let's for example change uh, the box shadow to be a white one. And what we want to do now is we want to copy the CSS. Don't copy the whole master CSS file, only the block of CSS where you made your changes. Then go back to the page and click page settings. You want to paste the CSS inside this custom CSS box. Click save and update the page. You could do the same using Visual Builder as well. Now let's preview our page and Earlier we changed the background color to solid white, so we are not going to be able to see the box shadow now, so let's just quickly change the background back to some other color. Let's for example change it to a blue color. Uh, so go to section settings, toggle background and let's change this to blue. There we go. Now let's preview and there we go. As you can see the box shadow color is now white. Let me now show you what developer tools is. You can activate that option by pressing F12 on your keyboard. Uh, something like this is going to pop up. I use Mozilla Firefox, uh, but if you use Chrome, Safari or Internet Explorer or any other major browser, it is pretty much the same. And don't let all these options confuse you. We are going to use only uh, one option and that's uh, this one this little arrow icon here uh, It's called inspect element tool when you click uh, This option you'll be able to hover over an element pretty much similar as in the visual builder and click on it and Once you do that all the relevant information about that element will be displayed in this uh, console here. All the CSS, for example, and that's what we're looking for here, is going to be showed here on our right. And as you can see, uh, this I clicked on this text area here, and I can see that color is transparent by default. 
What's helpful here is that it says where exactly this CSS is uh, declared. It tells me that it's in contact-venus.css uh, file on line 329. So if I would uh, like to update that CSS, I can find it in this file. But very important to mention is that you never want to update plugin files. Why? Well, because with each plugin update, you will lose your changes. What you want to do is to copy the CSS and paste it back on your website, exactly as we've seen with the master CSS file. So just copy the C block of CSS where you made your changes and paste it in page settings. In this example, it tells us exactly where the CSS is. It tells us the file name and on which line exactly. And that's super helpful. But let's uh, see another example. For example, here in this pricing tables modules, uh, let's click on this price here. And as you can see, uh, it tells us the font size, color, uh, and some other uh, things here as well. But it doesn't tell us which file, n the file name. Why? Uh, it says inline. That's because uh, these options here are not in any external CSS file. It tells us that uh, it's in some in module settings. So when it tells inline, that means that these settings can be changed within the module settings. So that's how developer tool helps you. Uh, you can easily find out where some CSS located and how to change it, whether it's in some external file or uh, the module settings. But once again, never update core plugin files. Otherwise, you're going to lose your changes each time the plugin is updated. Just copy the block of CSS you changed and paste it back on your website. What happens often is that you make some updates to your website, but no changes are visible on the when you visit the actual site. The reason for this can be caching. If you have any uh, caching plugins, please deactivate while you are developing the website. Uh, you can switch it back on when you're uh, come done with the website building. Other things you want to make sure to deactivate are in the theme options. So you want to go to Divi theme options. Here you want to deactivate uh, minify and combine CSS files. Keep this disabled. Also disable uh, option to minify and combine JavaScript files as well. And other one is in the builder tab. Keep static CSS file generation disabled too. Keeping these options disabled, you make sure that uh, theme itself is not caching as well. It's not combining and minifying files. And uh, you make sure to see the actual website. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope you like Venus and this tutorial was helpful to see how you can customize it. And thanks for watching.